Nothing else does either. A podcast dedicated to try and make people take themselves less seriously. I'm here with my guest, Michael. It's a it's an attempt. I don't Michael Bernadette. Michaelino fine pizza is my first guest. My very first guest on this show. Cheers to you. Thank you for being on. Uh, thanks, I guess, for having me. I'm gonna be asking our hosts some questions. They I'm not the host. I'm going to be asking our guest <laughs> some questions, and I know a little bit about you, because I sent Maybe him a questionnaire. a little bit about me. And uh, none of your answers matter. I don't expect them to. Because nothing matters. Nothing matters. Literally nothing matters. So no, you, tell me about your, your cultural heritage that you know. What, what do you know about it? I know that my great-grandparents immigrated from Italy right before the war, and they brought... Carthage. Carthage, right? Or... Yeah, garbage, yeah, yeah. I just well, let me ask you about your Italian heritage. What do you feel about Lamborghini? I prefer Ferrari. Lambrusco. I prefer Ferrari. Mussolini. It's a good dish. It's my Listen, favorite Italian yeah, dish. And dictator. <laughs> I am didn't really the tasty second dictator. Part I. You're German, also. So yes. um, my father's half German. My mother's half German. So I see I'm half German. I see. I don't know how well you've been following your people's news. There's been an ex. Volkswagen executive. I don't know if you remember this. There were some allegations a long time ago that they were violating some EPA regulations and they lied to the media and they lied to the EPA about their diesel cars and they were producing more pollution than they were saying that they are. And this person now is being tried. Basically what I was wondering is, why are you a Nazi? Hmm. Interesting question. The philosophy of the uh, Nationalist Party. Did not really? see it going this direction. <laughs> I didn't think you would. No, I mean that Hitler guy. You know, he's the real cutie. <laughs> oh, that was it. I, you know, I, my suspicion was that half of the reason for all the genocide, really, good looks. Just it's flat out. really true. The mustache. I mean, like... There's He's one reason it went out of vogue. He's a good-looking dude. But one like, reason. Charlie Chaplin. The murder. Oh. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you going into your background a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let's talk then a little bit more about, you know, what you've been doing and, and your life's path. So, I understand you have a theater degree. I do. Um, I gotta ask you, uh, when did you first know that you were gay? And... Oh, real early on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Real early good. on. Good. And my parents knew because I think they did it to me because like when I was born, they were playing show tunes. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's how easily it happens. Our children get corrupted. Corrupted by vaccines. By vaccines first and foremost. And the gay agenda. I saw this study. One vaccine okay, like, can make you 100% gay. One. Just can't, one. You can't argue you with can't, that math. No. No. It's science you and math. You cannot argue with that math. I'm interested in your rationale in choosing theater, what made you want to be homeless later in life? Well, you know, there was that real sense of being a starving artist. Yeah, it was kind it's of appealing. Like, it was appealing. It was kind of like this romanced sort of version, like you're doing what you have to do to get by. Yeah, yeah. You're doing everything you have to do. It just turns out that was a lot more work than I was willing to put in. Typical <laughs> liberal. Typical oh, yeah. Typical lazy liberal. <laughs> no surprise. No surprise. Okay, okay, but... You know, so your influences then, tell me about what inspired you, what, what actually influenced you into theater. You know, I went to one of the plays that they put on, and I was, like, really, really taken, like, by the actual performances that they were putting on and, like, this beautiful sets that they were putting on. And I thought, this is actually pretty cool. And it didn't seem like that much work to me. And so, like the lazy piece of shit that I am, I chose Liberal. the path of least resistance... And four years later, I was like, F 
fuck, I have a degree? What do I do? <laughs> uh, now tell me, be honest. How much did the word thespian influence your decision? Oof. I am a member of the Thespian Society. I have my card. Dude, I think I still have you it. You heard it there. here, folks. You heard it here first. Hang on, I think I have it on me, dude. First, he gets injected with the vaccines. <laughs> okay? Second, he turns into this. Hello. Third, Hello. now, he's a member of the Thespian... What'd you call society. it? Orgy? Oh, uh, yes. yeah. Same thing. Thespian orgy. Same thing. Thespians do it on stage, bro. I don't have it on me. You could have my health insurance card. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. Another question about the whole theater degree. You've, you've obviously now graduated. Mm. Um, how disappointed are your parents in you? Quite. I, I can think, see that. I think they... I mean, I'm disappointed in you. What was inevitably your uh, one and only important role in college, and how much do you talk about it on your Tinder profile? Ah, well, uh, my Tinder profile is a barren wasteland. Oh. That's a good place to start. Yeah. I sort of got this, like, complex where I really didn't like being rejected. <laughs> mm. And the thought of even, like, trying out and being like, you're not good enough. This guy's better. Mm. That j just ate away at me. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to sink into the background. I started doing, like, actual building of the sets, prop design, projection, lighting. So tell me a little bit about this. You not wanting to feel dejected, right? Right. And, and how that's influenced your life. You're a little slut, aren't you? You're just a little slut. I suck every dick. I knew it. Every single dick. I knew dick. you would because... It's because I've sucked your dick. I saw how a little Hollywood hopeful turns in to your next... <laughs> well, I wouldn't know any porn names. Uh... Because I'd never watch it. No. I'm actually, like, at a loss for that. I'm actually at a loss for that. <laughs> I'm not paying oh, attention Oh, I do know names. Stormy Daniels. Hey! I'd pay 135 grand to fuck her. So, okay, but theater, uh, it didn't work out, right? No. Didn't work out. Clearly. Went to cooking. Yes. Culinary school. Culinary school. Why culinary school? I think this whole path has been influenced by a sort of floundering after the ending of a relationship. What? Flounder. That's it. Flounder. You thought of the word yes. flounder. And I was like, fuck. And you wanted to cook fish. I get, it's all coming it's together perfect. for me now. Okay. But, you know, I was, it was kind of like a not knowing what to do and what made me happy and like I thought I'm kind of happy when I'm cooking so I was like fuck it I latched onto that did you in part go into culinary school after theater school because you knew that you were going to need a way to feed yourself <laughs> when you were homeless well I mean the butchery skills help with like Killing rats. Cat, like stray cats. Cats. <laughs> Other transients. I remember like during culinary school, I asked one of my chefs, it was during my, my butchery course, he was like, everything has a tenderloin. And I was like, chef, where's the human tenderloin? What did he say? <laughs> he was like, what is wrong with you? Talk to me about some of your interests as you're interested in film. Obviously, you were originally thought about going to yes. film, film school, school, but you like film. What do you like? Tell me some of your favorite films and some of your least favorite films. Tell me why. Okay, so my favorite horror film is The Thing. John Carpenter's The Thing. Angelina Crack. Jolie. Oh, yeah, and uh, Brad Pitt. Tommy Lee Jones. Um, Danny DeVito. <laughs> it had Samuel L. Jackson. Um, oh, some of them. And Robert Downey Jr. The Thing. That guy won a fucking Oscar, dude. He did. Yeah. Right after that, like, right after he joined the Fantastic Four. Comedy-wise, I really, <laughs> I really love, like, Walk Hard. Least favorites. Least favorites. <sighs> you know, like, films that you saw that, and you, you know, know, weren't good-bad. They were bad-bad, and you hated them. You know what I watched to completion? Citizen Kane. Citizen? I'm gonna say it for you. I did have my issues with Citizen Did you really? No, I'd I love really to hear did. this. What were your issues? I really did. Well, one glaring issue that I had. Citizen Kane, and I was like, his last words, Rosebud. You hated Rosebud. That's what makes the movie. But the movie's a lie. Because he says, Rosebud. And then the nurse comes in. She was supposed to be the last one to hear his fucking words. She didn't hear it. She wasn't even in the room. You don't know how sensitive... She wasn't in the room. Her hearing is. She's fucking super Okay, hearing. yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's 1940s, man. We don't have all this, like, cancerous radiation. It's true. We don't have the vaccines. Except for the, like, fucking... 
We're back uh, after a... Uh, that was commercial break. Oh, that was dissatisfying. <laughs> oh, really? Well, that was... That was limp. That was... Yeah. It like, felt limp. It felt like... You ever, like, get a limp? Oh, a limp handshake? Oh, oh, you were talking about... A limp dick. A different... A limp dick, just, like, sitting in your... Thing. In your lap. That... Right here. All right, so we're back here. Now, we were talking about movies, we're talking about film. Now, did you see the new Avengers movie? I did. So, question for you. Now, we're going to play a little game, a new game that I have here. <clears throat> okay. Now, normally it's fuck, marry, kill. Uh huh. Right? In, in this podcast, it's going to be. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> you're close. Huh. You're close. It's kill. Uh huh. Kill worse. Uh huh. Don't kill torture for infinity. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, you got to pick three. Out of everybody? Out of the people in the film. Oh, okay. okay. Right? Kill. Right. Just regular kill. Who would you kill? just regular kill? Because, you know. I'd kill Bucky. Just regular kill Bucky because I think he's boring. Kill worse? Yep. For his first two movies alone. Thor. Because those first two Thor movies were fucking garbage. Torture for Infinity. Torture for Infinity. Maybe Chris Pratt's character, Star-Lord. Oh. Just because I find him to be super obnoxious. Where it's just like, he is always successful, despite being a fucking dolt, a thousand percent of the time. Piece of shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. I see the strong feelings. Okay, I agree. I appreciate that. I asked you about, you know, some of the uh, accomplishments in your life. You didn't have a lot to list, gotta mm. say. I'm not a boastful human being. Ah. Uh, also not a worthful. Zero worth. Human being. <laughs> But, you know, that's not for No this. worth. No worth Shona, That's neither here nor there. So, you say that you're educated. You're at least somewhat intelligent. Yeah, somewhat educated. I'm right? going to be a little frank with you. So smart. Uh, why didn't you stop 9-11? I was legally 11. <laughs> this guy I would tr- I would have tried had so, I... So, what are you, 45, 50? I don't... Um, 83. <laughs> Spiritually 83. I'm uh-huh. what, what people call age fluid. Ah, yeah, 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 I know of that. Okay, so, like, sometimes I wake up and I'm like, I'm an 83-year-old man. Yeah. Where's my applesauce? I I see that. It's it's my favorite time of day is getting that applesauce. Oh, it's sounding creepier now. Oh, you better believe it. Oh, (laughs) yeah, that's sounding... Oh. And then some days I wake up as a 98-year-old man. (laughs) And I'm like... Seems to be in this range of... Where's my fucking bone medicine? (laughs) You're really, really elderly. Oh, well... I do the same thing though. I go from like sometimes I'm, I wake up and I say that I'm an infant, and then mm. I I just go and suck on tits, mm. just random tits that I see. Right, right, right. You know, because then I'm if I'm age fluid, that's okay. You're an infant. Because I you don't know better. I'm just I just go to the park. Yeah. In my stroller, I got like a Stephen Hawking stroller. I control it with baby mind. Okay. Right, and I'm just strolling around. And some lady will see me just strolling around in an empty stroller. And it's like, pops you up. She's right. got huge like tits. Spring loaded. Of course, because I'm no idiot. Spring loaded. Of course, I spring loaded. And it's like trajectory straight Boom. towards the fucking titty. Just go, go. Right to the tit. Right to the tit. Get some good suckles. Get some of that sweet nectar. And I mean, like, you know, initially she's like, oh, God. She's all frightened. But then it's like, oh, motherhood. Then, of course, she loves it. She's like, motherhood. She and realizes. She like, cradles you. Immediately, there's a 31 year old man sucking her tit. She cradles and me then like she, a babe. She cradles me. And then... Well, I don't know where that went. So... But titty sucking, right, bro? <laughs> so tell me then about... Okay, uh, some philosophy here. I asked you about your philosophy, right? You don't believe in God. No. What made you decide, if it was a decision, to not believe in God? I think ultimately what pushed me away from it was... My parents made me attend this class called RCIC. I remember them explaining the concept of original sin. Where it was like... You were born in sin. And like, I am. Because of women. Yeah. Because of women. Fucking eating apples. women. Eating apples of the world. Shit. Way to go. Way to go. Fuck it up for all of us. Like, even as a kid, I was like, this doesn't sit right with me. You're a heathen. Answer me this. As a Mm -hmm, mm Darwinutianist, which you are, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if we evolve from other monkeys, other rodentia. Yes. Huh? How then do you explain... Scallops. How... Other scallops. Maybe. Maybe. How then do you explain the fact that there are still so many people that drive 
on the highway in their motorcycles <laughs> really, really fast. How do you explain that? How do you explain that? I would explain to them. They would have gone away. Oh, they should go away. They would have gone away. They should go away. I'm going to ask you one last thing. Uh, if you're so comfortable being your atheist, uh. how afraid are you of being fucked in the ass by Satan forever? Well, sounds like a good time. I do have a theater degree, but... Well, it's all coming together now for this guest. I'm kind of, well, a bit over it. I Are you scared of death? Well, I love the Lord, and the Lord <laughs> gives me permanent love and, and freedom in a mansion. A big fucking giant mansion in heaven with my grandma. Is my grandpa there? I got it. Of course he's there. Is my grandpa there? He's not in the same house. I don't want him in my house. I don't let say, people. Like a, you just let anybody in your house in heaven? <laughs> no. Some old people, they have their own homes in heaven. Just like they do here. There's a natural place. I don't let him in. He knocks on my door every day. Son, I'm your friend's grampy. I says, you don't even know who I am. You don't even know where you are. I say, old oh, man, you must leave my home right now. And I threaten him. I have a gun. I, th I threaten him with a gun. I have a fucking heaven gun. I do. I have a heaven gun. The Lord supports guns. Of course. The Lord supports the murder of children. Because guns. And so he knocks on my door and threatens him with a gun. No, he's not getting into my mansion in heaven. Am I afraid of death? And no, I'm afraid of having to take care of my Alzheimer's grandma and then and then everyone else that ever died that, that I have any relationship with whatsoever and and then meeting them up there and then... That sounds like a nightmare to me. Meeting everybody I've ever been related to. Speaking of the Jews, here's a good uh, launching point here. You have told me, I know, that you say you're left-leaning centrist huh. did you vote for hillary no why are you a nazi i think the most important issue in these times these very very strange times that we found ourselves in is truth the, because the i Lord? feel because like... i just heard you say <laughs> i feel like something about this the truth gets pushed under the rug by our politicians far, far too often for us to even begin to have a modicum of trust between us and the people that we are supposed to follow. Well, I agree. That's why we have the Bible. <laughs> I can show you a book that will show you the truth, that will show you the way. You refuse it because you're, it. you're a gay theist. It. Do you believe that there is a disparity and an issue between the rich and the poor. And yes, that, that, obviously. That poverty is, is a very serious issue? Yes, obviously. Would you support a program to try to eradicate poverty? I would more support a program that would eradicate the rich. That sort of destroys my second question, to be quite honest. Some other things that I asked you about, things that are important to you, you talked about friends, family, stuff like that. Yeah? Yes. So... I'm curious, if you believe in friends and family so so much, why then do you support so easily the right for gays to enter our bathrooms and fuck our children? Well, mostly I hate children. Take it to the bank. Thank you. Yeah, fuck. Fuck them. Literally. <laughs> the FBI, the police, you hear... You need to know this. For the terrorist, it's not even Bernalki, is it? I never told you my middle name. Hussein. No. <laughs> I knew it! God damn it! We all knew it. Show me your birth certificate. Michael Hussein. Show me... Obama Bernalki. Your birth certificate. <laughs> you were born in Kenya. I... What gave me away? Kenyan gay theist. What gave Thespian. me away? Thespian. What gave me away? The hair. Mm. Uh, it's the it's just, is it the complexion? Dark. Yeah. You have dark hair. Yeah. Dark eyes. Yeah. All I see is darkness. Yeah. It's a dark shirt. Yeah. Well, the skin is deceptive. I believe that's <laughs> some kind of clay. <laughs> I'm it's not sure. You're rubbing it on. You might. I don't. I can't trust you. Well, let's go on maybe to kind of the final questions here. And I asked about your future, where you wanted to go and what you wanted to do in life, you said that you thought you'd already be dead. 
Yeah. Yeah, by now. Yeah. Right? Tell me why that is. Um, Other than AIDS from gay theism. Mostly because of AIDS. Uh, no, like, when I was when I was a kid, like, even growing up, like, I was diagnosed as a diabetic very, very young. And That's a gay disease? Far it's a understand. really gay disease. <laughs> uh, yeah, I knew that. From infant, infant anal sex. <laughs> right? I knew that much. Yeah, yeah. like, it tore me up, man. Like, yeah. Yeah. Contusions for days. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. But there was always this, like looming thought when I was younger of just not really making it much past twenty. But here you are. Here I am, twenty. Here, here you are. Bonus years, dude. I told you. Bonus, bonus years, years, right? Bonus years. Which means you get a bonus round. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Bonus round means you get to answer some questions, and if you get any of them right, you get. Absolutely nothing. Okay. 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 Right? Lay it on the line here, though, okay? Give it your best. I'm going to give you... It's like fast money, okay? I'm going right. to ask you a question. Boom. You give me the answer. I'll do it. I'll okay? Do it. I'll, do it. I'll do it. All right, ready. Bonus rounds. Clock ticking. How long in hours does it take the average person to die? Uh, uh, eight. <laughs> Based on probability, what's the likelihood that you'll die in the next 10 minutes? 12%. What? That's not a... How many children will die of starvation in the duration of this questionnaire? 42. How many ladder-related deaths are there in America per year? Again, 42. <laughs> All of it's 42. How will you die? Uh, 42. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I will die sad and alone. That's how mm. I'll die. Okay. Ding, this... ding, 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 ding. Let's go over your answers. How long in hours does it take... For the average person to die. Eight. Eight hours. You said eight hours. Yes, eight hours. Aver- eight. On average, people survive eight hours. Yeah. I really wish. About eight hours. It's 5,862,752,640. That's a lie. That's a lie. It's That's eight. I, well, it is eight. We can agree to disagree. We're outliers. Okay? We can agree to disagree. <laughs> there are t- tremendous <laughs> just, just dead, amounts of baby and eight graves. hours dead, 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 dead. <laughs> yeah. Tremendous maybe, amount maybe of baby Maybe if you count all of the graves. Lord's abortions of all the babies dying that the gay theist type support. Based on probability, what's the likelihood that you'll die in the next 10 minutes? You said 12%. 12%. 12%, 12% of what? What's the... Pro- well, I guess, yeah, probability. <laughs> It's one in 250,000. Uh, 12% merits no points. If you had gotten right, it's, it's no points. You want to just get it right. How many children will die of starvation in the duration of this questionnaire? 42. 42. It's actually 29,000. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> wow, that statistic actually fucking blows my mind. Mm. Does it? Suddenly, the gay theist cares about children. Wow. After no, raping, I don't. After raping them in bathrooms. I don't. Yeah. How many ladder related deaths are there in America? You said 42 again. You're pretty close here. You're pretty close here. 300. Wow. Really? 300 people die. 300 fucking soft skulled fucking ch- knuckle draggers. That's right. Are falling off of ladders per year. It's either death by a ladder, which could be a ladder crushing. A ladder could fall on you and you could die. Ladders are aluminum. You they're, could they're fall. Light. Not all ladders. All ladders are different. How will you die? Sad and alone. You said sad and alone. I said, no, the answer is cancer. Oh, God. Yeah, well. I know. But you're wrong. It's cancer. So you get no points. <laughs> Sorry. You get no points. You get no money. Oh, there is no money at stake. We don't have any money. But I wanted the money. There's no money. Come on. There was never any money. Give me the money. I lied to you. Give me the money. There's no money. No whammies. Stop, stop, stop. We did the first things first, now we got the last things last. You have a cat. Yeah. Why do you hate yourself? Uh, well, I mean, mostly I hate myself because of my, like, decisions I've made. Getting the cat might be one of them. That's, that's it. Uh, you mean you must hate yourself to get a cat. Is there something maybe appealing? Is there something alluring about... Owning a, the property of a living thing that sits in boxes and would eat your face if when I you die. Actually Something dead. enjoyable about that experience. I mean, he's cute. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I get okay. to, I can like wave the fishies around in his face. No fishies? Like, so can... You have live fish in your house? No, they're fake fish. You feed your cat Swedish fish. Put it on PETA. <laughs> Note to PETA. Gaithius feeds cat. This is our Swedish headline. Fish. Swedish fish. Huh? Chokes on it. Cat chokes on it. Put that as the second he's headline. He's not dead. He's not dead yet. He will. He will. He will be. He's not dead yet. He will be. Okay. He's going to be. I take... I'm going to kill you. Oh, any last thoughts? Any last ideas? Um, you know, what do you got to say to the world right now? What do you have to say to the world? What are your thoughts? Fuck money and get women. That's it. You heard it here first. Fuck money. Get women. But you have actual sexual intercourse with the money. Because yes. so far as I understand, I think that's how we actually breed. Yeah. So it's been great having you. I appreciated you. You were the first one. Probably going to be the last one. But it was a good time. And I appreciate you answering my questions and taking the time here today on You Do Not Matter. The conjunction. I just don't, but... But none of us do. <laughs> Hooray! Bum 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 b